What is going on everybody? It is Bush Fishing. We're now in the part three or day, th well technically day two, but it's going to go into day three of building this project boat. If you guys haven't seen the last two videos, make sure to go check them out. They will be in the description or just find them on my page. We're rebuilding a Lakeland 1790 Pro. This is like a walleye bass boat kind of thing. Deep V big fiberglass boat and if you guys watched the previous videos you know there were some big problems with it and basically the whole thing's getting redone so in the first episode we basically tore everything down got everything off of it that we needed to so we exposed everything found the weak spots and in the last episode we finally started building if you guys didn't see that we built the entire floor down here the entire front deck so basically the inside of the boat has no more rot in it it's all structurally sound already but we're going to be making it even better in this video for today what i'm just going to do is start fiberglassing the boards in so that they're waterproof and the deck's waterproof and no water is getting below it but before we get into that if you guys are new here i'm bush fishing i make lots of fishing videos i do outboard repair and things like that and occasionally some boat building videos if you guys want to see one of my past series on that boat over there i'll leave that linked up here but in this video we're going to get straight to fiberglassing so i'm going to get everything ready i'll put you guys on the time lapse for how i set up basically what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to sand down all these edges because they're not completely perfect and flat and even so i'm going to sand all of that down then get my fiberglass ready and i think for tonight depending on how quick it goes i'm only going to do the front deck and get that baby sealed because earlier in the day I did some fiberglassing and it was going off super quick. It was extremely hot today. We're finally getting into the shade and a little bit of breeze is picking up. So it shouldn't go off as fast and I should have some more working time, but we'll see. So I'll get you guys on the time lapse and let's get working. Good morning, everybody. It is early and I was hoping it would be cooler out. It's supposed to be cooler today. It's already hot. I did get a pretty early start. We're back working on the boat. I almost forgot that this is the second part of the video I already started yesterday, but as you guys saw, we got the front of the boat glassed and you can't really see it because I moved everything up here, but it is solid as a rock, super nice. Covers up that crack and it's gonna make it waterproof and everything. Now today, I have a couple goals for today. Number one is I wanna have the transom completely ripped out. I wanna do that yesterday, but building the deck ended up taking a little longer than I wanted. And I also wanna get this deck completely finished and all glassed in. So the first thing we're gonna do is be cutting out that middle deck compartment. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping that original wooden like sailboat looking hatch or if i'm going to be making one out of plywood but i am going to be using the aluminum frame for it and it's going to be the same size and everything so whatever i decide it should be easy or if you guys want to see one let me know in the comments but first thing i'm going to do is cut that out so i know where to fiberglass and then i have a few other holes to patch and after that we should be good to work on the transom and in between doing that i think that i am going to build the new console and get that in today so I know where to extend the front deck. And maybe if it goes super quick, I'll work on the back deck and extending it and building new storage, but I don't know yet. So I'm gonna get everything ready, get you guys on the GoPro, and it's time to wake up the neighbors.
All right, everybody. Well, there you have it. So, I got the front section of the poop deck glassed in. As you can see, that whole thing is glassed in. You can't see the shadows because it is super bright. That was a little bit harder. I wish I would have done that earlier this morning, but it is super, super hot out. I had one batch of the resin uh, go off on me, and I purposely made a bigger batch of it just so I could try and do it all in one swoop and it went off on me so i had to mix the second batch but we got the whole thing glassed in i got those two front chunks where the holes were completely sealed off with glass on top of them so that's not going to ever have a problem again it's all mixed in with the glass on the other side something i did different is i sanded it first before i put the glass on it and on the front deck i didn't do that i didn't think of that and i don't know why but this should help it adhere a little better. So I do have the rest of the deck to do, but I think I'm gonna do that later. Right now, I'm gonna run to the store and pick up some stuff that I need, specifically a roller to get the air bubbles out of that because I didn't have that. And I really should have had that. I was trying to push the bubbles out with a paintbrush and a mixing cup and some other stuff. And then once I get back, I'll probably take a little break and cool off and then get into the dirty work i have to get the transom out and once that's over we can start coming up with a plan on how to do the transom i think that i'm going to actually have that done this weekend and over the next two days i don't know if it'll be in this video or start the next video i'm going to start building the inner deck today i do want to get the console built and put back in hopefully if this fiberglass dries we'll just see how far we get it's super early right now it's only 10 o'clock so that helps with getting an early start but we'll see so i'm gonna go to the store and i'll see you guys when i get back All right, everybody, so now is a pretty good stopping point for me. Basically, you guys saw on the time lapse, sorry, it's been a lot of time lapses, but I'm trying to get stuff done. I'll talk more into the actual building phase and when we start doing the cool stuff, but. As you can see, we have the majority of the transom ripped out. It was all rotted. It's all pretty easy to get out. That corner was this one. The only spot of good wood was basically right up here. 
So most of it came out easy. That's kind of hard to get out, and I am going to have to get literally every bit of this out, but it's getting real hot again. Moving up to the boat, you guys saw me build this console. This is just held up by two screws right now. It's not how it's going to be. I want it to fit up a lot tighter with the actual console, so it just flows better, and it's I'm pretty sure it's not level right now. But there's a lot of stuff I have to think about, and this wood, since it's not going to get fiberglass, it's going to get painted with a sealer. So that still has to happen, so it's going to come back out. I really want to repaint that console and do it like a, probably a white, and then with a gray stripe that'll match the exact carpet that's going to be in here, and then probably white seats and everything. Lots of stuff to think about. But for now, I'm probably going to take a little break, and I am going to come back this evening when it is cooler and finish fiberglassing the floor and probably doing whatever other fiberglass I have left. That live well does have a huge crack in it, so that's gonna get glassed. And I'll probably end up doing that and having my girlfriend come to paint with me. The deck's gonna get completely painted because I don't think I'm gonna glass over the entire plywood. So I wanna get that all sealed up after I glass it and get the console painted. Then probably, maybe off camera, I'm gonna work a little more on the transom if I feel like it. Try and get that completely ripped out because my plan is for the next two days, I'm gonna be doing like interior work, stuff like that, just small stuff after work. And then this weekend, hopefully, I'm gonna get the entire transom done and after that's done this boat's pretty much ready for the water so for now i'm going to take a little break and i will see you guys later